Guys, it's gonna be a fast-paced video because uh -huh. we're gonna review a fast-paced movie. It's called Hardcore, hardcore Henry. 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 So hardcore that Jerry's doing cocaine right now. No, I'm and having an allergy. Man, so does it look good on you? I am allergic to many things right cocaine now. Cocaine Jerry, way better. Cocaine. Than sober Jerry. <laughs> Hardcore Henry. We watched the trailer. We watched the Indiegogo um, action scene they released. That's what was shown to us before this movie was released. I didn't even and, see the Indiegogo one, you know? Well, that's I your saw the fault. trailer and I saw like the GoPro YouTube video from like years ago. And here's what most of us were expecting. Just a two hour POV movie that is just non-stop action, so you're probably gonna get a headache and you're probably gonna get annoyed. That's one of those times yeah. you look at where you're like, this looks awesome. I don't For like know if 20 I want... minutes yeah. at most. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to do this on the big screen. <laughs> we watch the movie, and it's a movie. It's not just action scenes. It's a full fucking film. Well, it's got a whole story to it. That's one thing I'll say, is even when there was no action scenes, I was genuinely engaged in the story. If anything, the story made the action scenes that much better. Well, yeah, because this movie has more sci-fi elements than I think I was expecting or I think you were expecting. And and that's the thing is like it hooks you with like when it's not being crazy action, there's also this like very odd, you know, sci-fi story unfolding underneath yeah. it. So there are quiet moments that are still thrilling because they're disconcerting and it's all kind of futuristic. It's weird because it's not exactly like overblown sci-fi, but it's definitely not subtle. You can tell early on, this film is not just an action film, it's a science fiction movie at the same time. If you're watching the trailer and wondering like how the hell would I be interested in this, you can't even see the main character. Don't wanna give away how they do it, but know that he, by the end of the movie, you're like, Henry's a pretty cool fucking dude. Well, and that's what's so cool about this is that this is actually, you know, it's it, it has this, this gimmick, you know, that's all no way. During another video. Okay, we're good. What makes this movie so cool is that I feel like the gimmick is a bit more to me than just a gimmick. Like, this seemed like a worthwhile, you know, film experiment. And they really rose to the occasion and made that four hour and 45 yeah. minutes of first person intensity work to the point where halfway through I was like, this is cool. I don't know if I would ever watch it again. Then, like, three quarters of the way through, I was like, I love this. Like, this is yeah. incredible. Even action cinema over the years, like it, it clearly is thinking about action, it references a lot of different times and places in action. It puts you in yeah. the driver's seat for a lot of crazy experiences. And it gives you like certain, like tech, on a technical level, it's not the most original story. Like in terms of, you know, like how it all plays out and everything, it's not exactly what I would say a cliche movie, if that makes any sense. Because they're giving you stereotypes like, oh, here's this action sequence that you've kind of seen in another, like this action sequence, like here's the car chase, here's the fight with the group, here's the one-on-one -on -one fight, here's the fight with the big Russian dude or whatever. When those scenes are there, you want them there. <laughs> like they're all placed at the right moment. All the action scenes are not repetitive. They're all different in their own way. Well, yeah, and the movie finds a way to, to actually ramp up over time. Yeah. So like it starts out and, and, and the violent, the action is all kind of small and actually kind of jarring and disturbing because it feels real in the realistic yeah. situations. And then the movie creates this weird, you know, space for your head to be in because everything looks realistic because it's from the first person point of view of a person in as close an approximation as we're used to seeing yeah. with these ridiculous, like, over the top action scenes. And that gives it this, like, ridiculous sense of humor. Yeah. The, <laughs> you know, the, like, it the has film a rhythm. Is, the film, it, it knows its silliness at, at the same time. There are certain, like, moments or plot beats that are kind of stock action movie, but that didn't take away from it for me because a like I feel like they matched each one with like a really creative thing about their universe but they also I think used those trope moments as a way of kind of poking at the action movie formula like almost I'm not saying that it's like necessarily meta but almost being meta about it like if that makes any sense How's that looking at the camera thing going, Jerry? Good, good, man. Every actor you see in the trailer is great, you know? Like, Haley Bennett does a really good job. And the guy who played the villain in the movie is great. He's that albino dude you see in the trailer. Yeah. He is really, he's menacing, but he has a lot of fun with the role. That could have been another role that was done in a way where it's like, this is very typical. Well, and that's the thing about all the performances here is like every actor, like like uh, Haley Bennett and everybody they got, they all played these stock or kind of vague roles with, you know, little nuances and you get the sense that they were real characters. Yeah. Like, with very minimal dialogue and very minimal intimate moments, they were able to, you know, let the actors really play and, and make these characters, you know, 
fun to watch. And Charlotte Copley is the... He's, he is so good. Uh, you walk away from this movie going, well, were my favorite scenes the action scenes or all the scenes with Charlotte Copley? Yeah, because <laughs> like, like, we're not going to spoil what it is, but they do something really cool with him that is completely kind of off the wall, but also... It's super fun yeah. and a wonderful performance. It adds so much to the movie, the performance. And I feel like this is a movie that could could gather sort of a cult status because it is an exploitation movie. Like it's hyper violent and 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 crazy, but also like it it is a breakthrough in tech. And I feel like this is one of those films that could have teetered on the edge of like this could be really terrible or surprisingly awesome. I came out thinking it was surprisingly awesome. Yeah. Like, like, there are good performances in this movie. Pretty much everything is inventive in this movie. Yeah, I walked yeah. away from this movie feeling like this was everything I wanted it to be, plus a lot more. Even though I had my concerns, my, my one concern was that it was going to get annoying, you know? like. Well, I feel like they thought about that, and that's why yeah. they expanded it so much. Give us different visual motifs or different, you know, rules of I the think, universe. Like. I think the most impressive thing they did, honestly, was... The fact that they were able to give this Henry guy a personality and you live vicariously through him. Because he's you. You feel throughout the movie. It's more than just, that was cool. You, when there's like an intense, like suspenseful scene, it fucking feels that way. Well, know? yeah, because no movie has translated the this is what this could feel like, like, yeah. like this movie. Like, it, it, like you are Henry. Like It's a really cool film. Yeah. Most likely, it'll be in my top five, if not top ten movies of 2016. Yeah, so crazy. early in the year. Man, was it an experience. That, that it's, not it's one that. of the reasons I love going to movies. And it's so cool knowing it was an Indiegogo project. That yeah. it, to know it that, seems like, like a real labor of love. You know? There were fans of this that wanted this to be made. And they donated so much money to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. awesome to see that... It was worth everyone's time and money. Oh, it was totally. it was a complete success, and I've been on this watching this journey since they first released the Indiegogo clip. Mission accomplished. Yeah. You have made one awesome experience of a movie. Yeah. Everyone watch it. Oh, you like the music too. I don't know if you want to say that. I do like the music. The music. music's really good. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of music there is. Um, a lot of when the movie's actually released, we'll probably do a spoiler review. Yeah. <laughs> this is us saying we want you guys yeah, to watch please it. Please go check out Please Hardcore watch Henry. it. They didn't ask us to say it or none of that shit. You, We're you, just saying this because you have to watch this movie. You you may have to work to get into it because I understand, like, you know, it may be a little too intense for some folks, but if you can get into it, it becomes just like the most yeah. fun, ridiculous, visceral movie. You've I'll ever say seen. if you can get through the opening credits, you could probably get through the whole movie if you're squirmy to violence. My concern is like, I want to take my girlfriend to watch this movie. I don't think she'll enjoy it. But she it. won't enjoy it. And I it's mainly be, it's mainly because it. of how violent the movie can get. Yeah. And it's like as much as I wanna be like, oh close your eyes here. Sometimes it happens in such a flash moment yeah. that you won't the, the be able to see. The whole movie is a flash moment. Yeah. Like it's because this movie is like a stream of consciousness, yeah. like a fever dream, and like it is because you're strapped into this guy's point of view the whole time. Like the movie does feel frantic, and when you're done with it, you're like, "What do we just go through?" Yeah, <laughs> you know. And you and when you're out of the theater, you feel like you're looking yeah, at the first POV still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is like a, a an oddly affecting experience. Yeah, it's, you know? no, that's what I love about it. It's you an know. experience. It's like like, it's like when you go to Universal to watch one of those, like, 3D shows, you know? Yeah. Like, people, you go here to watch a show. It's awesome. Like, it's awesome. This movie might not be perfect. It has some rough edges. But I almost feel like all that stuff adds to the charm. Because it does yeah. feel like a really cool exploitation movie that brought some new stuff and did it well. Yeah. You know, like... It's mission accomplished. Yeah. Go watch it. Go watch it. It's a, it's a massive undertaking. You, man. You, you. Listen, listen. Listen up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe today. Become a reject. It'll be worth everyone's time, especially your mom's. Oh, why? Are Shut you up, like Jerry. Reasons to Jerry playlist on this channel. He's the co co creator of this channel. You can check him out on Dink Ass Stubs with him and this guy named Aaron. Yep. Aaron, not a pedophile. Want to make that clear? Why? I just talked with my uh, representative over at our multi channel network, Full Screen. And we have to uh, get more followers on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So if, if you guys could help us out there, that, that would be great. Because we want, you know, like brand deals so we can annoy you guys with product placement. 
Well, in we can videos. bring you more stuff. Like we can bring you more and perhaps better stuff in the future. Well, I just like the free goods. Oh. Buy a one-up box free, today. I like that you call them free goods, as if they send you like like necessities. <laughs> they send me canned beets, bottles of water, toilet paper. Never mind. This is this is what I deal with on a daily it's basis. A word joke.